Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. We got another one for you today. We got a good one. We're going to get into a world title fight between Takuma Inoue and Jerwin on Chaos. Um, I've been binge watching on Chaos, and I've, I've, I've made up my mind. And we're going to get into it. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing bookie comes out to you for every major fight, showing you how to consistently make money, showing you how to bring down the house. Uh, I don't gamble. We use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. But if you do gamble, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. We are, I think we're 7-2 and two the last two weeks. And that's just normal. It's just typically what we do. We make money every single week. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. So follow me. Also subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, we got some new Patreon. With the Patreon, you get the lock of the week. You can ask me to handicap any fight. You get the free t-shirt. You get all that and more perks. Um, but before we do, uh, also subscribe to the other channel. Uh, subscribe to the other channel to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right. Let's, let, let, let's get into this fight. Um, because I've changed my mind uh, on both fighters after binge watching them all day. Um, I put in a lot of work for you guys. I, I you know, a, a video like this takes 10 minutes to record. I've done usually five or six hours of research, at least for each one of these videos. Um, and I, I want to bring guys good content. Yeah, you know, I, I love watching box, I love going back and learning and, uh, you know, raising my. IQ as a scout, uh, but I, I do it because I, I want to bring you guys a good video. And I want to show you how to how to make money on this sport. And um, you know, Takuma Inoue really really knows how to fight. Good spring in his step, high guard, right? Like he's not uber athletic, but he's he's fairly athletic. Um, good clean straight punches, throws good combinations. He just lacks the power, right? He just doesn't have the power that his brother has or anything close right i think he's at 18 and one with just four knockouts five foot four 64 inch wingspan it's all standard right like it's standard five uh five four <coughs> 64 inch reach limited power nothing hyper athletic he's just basic but the dad there who was my trainer of the year list just really taught these guys how to fight. Um, you know, he's got excellent footwork. He, he avoids pressure really well. Um, you're not really going to be able to trap him. He moves well. He uses the ring well. He jabs you. He keeps you at bay. He does a really good job of keeping you off of him when he wants to with his limited power. Good defense. He picks shots off really well. He can avoid shots really well for a guy that's you know reasonably athletic. But not Devin Haney out there. Uh, you know, he consistently makes you miss and counters really well. He's not a huge volume puncher, but he's very accurate with what he, do what he does throw. He, everything he throws is calculated. You can see that this is a fighting family. This is what they were born to do. He's, and he's not there to be countered, right? Like, he, he's hard to hit. For, you know, like for a guy that's not – Super defensive minded. He's he's hard to hit. He's a cut forward guy. Good combination puncher. He really, really knows how to fight. He doesn't have explosive natural ability that blows you away, which is why he's not on pound for poundless, and he shouldn't be. But he's got all accurate, clean, sharp shots, throws good combinations, throws things with a purpose, comes forward, makes you miss, counters, tags you. He's a really, really good fighter. He's just limited in his natural abilities. He's been able to overcome that in all his fights except for one. I don't think this fight is going to be any different. Um, this is an interesting scrap with NK House, who, who is calm in the pocket, but he's stationary and gets tagged. He really doesn't move his head. Um, yeah, I went um, back. I watched so many of his fights. And even the fight he fought on the Pacquiao Horn call, which was his coming out party, he got the sixth round knockout. Everyone fell in love with him. Seventh round knockout, seventh round knockout. I'm really not that impressed 
He doesn't seem to have great power. He's got good power. He's got better power than Inoue, obviously. But it's not sensational power. It's not like he, he can end this fight at any point. Um, you know, he's got a strong jab that he uses when he wants to come forward. But when he doesn't use his jab he, and he leads with power shots, he lunges in and he's easy to tag. Inoue is such a better fighter. He's such a more well-disciplined, complete fighter. The basics, higher IQ fighter. He's just a much cleaner fighter. There's a lot less mistakes. There's a lot less to fix with a new way. Or like a, a new way, he's really just limited by his own natural abilities. Or in chaos, his better abilities. But he's super flawed. I, I don't think he's bad. Good lead, left hook, things like that. But he's a good body puncher. That's really what I've noticed. He's a really, really good body puncher. He goes downstairs exceptionally well. He does it efficiently. And he, he, you know, he makes you pay when he goes to the body. That's going to be his key to this fight. I, I just don't see him executing because of, of all the flaws, of all the flaws, and how stationary he is, and how easy he is to hit. Um, I, I think a, a new way just batters him. Really, I, I, I think this is borderline on you're outclassing him at times. And that chaos will have moments. I don't think he'll get shut out. I think he'll he'll be able to hurt him at times. I just think it's going to be few and far between. I think Inoue takes a wide decision here. So I want to take a look at this. Um, Dekume Inoue by decision, technical decision, minus 165. That's not terrible. I'm going to one times bet on that. And then uh, I'm also fitting to take the over. 10 and a half times two. I'm really confident in that. Everyone should like that over 10 and a half. Um, you know, it's going to give you the last round and a half in case there's a knockout. I, I looked at the, uh, does the fight go the distance? It was minus four or something. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's good. Let's go. This is minus 450. This is minus 650. You know, that, that's not a bad bet either. You can put that in there. I'm not going to for the sake of this video, but it's not a bad bet. bet. I'm going to take the over 10 and a half rounds. Uh, I'm going to do that times two. Uh, so what this is going to do is these two bets for $300, it's going to make you $90, $70. It's not terrible. So you get in a way by decision. Makes you 60 bucks on a $100 bet and over 10 and a half, which is a fantastic head. Did something fantastic to use in parlays. This thing is certainly going to go the distance. Uh, if you want to use parlays, use the over 10 and a half on this. Uh, it'll pay you 30 76 So you're making about 100 bucks on this $300 bet, which I, I think is super safe. Uh, you know, it's not terrific, but it's, it's, it's also not bad. It's really not bad because no matter what, we're making this. This is easy money right here. Uh, I'm, I'm really confident in Inoue wins the decision. So this is just a, really a head that will pay you a little bit. If you wanted to just do this bet and, and just make it bigger, I, I wouldn't mind that either. But I'm, I'm showing you how to, how to handicap this and, and how to make money and, and how to bet this safely. So simple, simple bet. Two times bet on the over. Makes you $30 on a $200 bet. And... Uh, sixty dollars, uh, sixty dollars and sixty cents on a hundred dollar bet. It's gonna make you about a hundred bucks or so. Do the math on that on a three hundred dollar bet. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing book in all forms of social media. Three D boxing, three D boxing blog. Remember to subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description. The link is in the description. Uh, you get the the the, the, the free merch. You get the uh, lock of the week, which will be out shortly. It'll probably be. Thursday when I do the lock of the week. Um, uh, and you can ask me anything you want to hit me to handicap a fight. You want to break that fight. I will do it for you. Just uh, join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. I give you all the content you want. It's well worth it for you guys. It keeps me going as well. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media, media and subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is February 20th, 2024. From Texas to the world, 
Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.